Hey everyone, Joe here. In this quick tutorial, I want to show you how you can add your own LUTs to Lightroom. It's pretty simple, so let's hop in here and get to this. Okay, first of all, I have a photo here already opened up in Lightroom. Now, if you uh, add your own little LUTs and stuff, they'll be over here in this new profile browser where you can find your other camera profiles. And it'll be listed down here under user profiles. As you can see, I already have one called VidColor Standard. Okay, and that's a LUT that I actually created. Now you're probably wondering, where in Lightroom do we add these? Unfortunately, you can uh, actually don't have a way to add them directly into Lightroom. You first have to open up Camera Raw, either in via Bridge or Photoshop. So to add our own LUT, we have to open the photo up. For example, this one. We can go to Filters and go to Camera Raw Filter. Okay, once we're in camera raw filter, we can actually go over here where it says presets and click on that. Now, you'll see a little new preset icon down here at the bottom. You want to press the alt key, then click on that preset. As you can see here, the color lookup table is found. If you do not press the alt key and you click it, you'll get this screen. So you want to make sure you press the Alt key, then click it. Wonderful, right? Then we want to check here, it says Color Lookup Table. Go ahead and just click that. And then you want to go to your folder where you actually have your LUTs located. I want to choose Vlog Color Cine 1. This is one I actually uh, created myself just for this tutorial. Go ahead and click Open. Now we want to name our uh, LUTs. For example, this one I'm going to call, uh, what do we want to call it? Vlog <laughs> Cine 1. Let's just call it Vlog Cine 1 Light. And once you got that done, click OK. Then you can click Cancel. Then you can actually just go ahead and close Photoshop on out. OK. Now you'll probably notice the LUT isn't actually listed down here at the bottom anymore. If we click this again, you'll see it's still not shown. No worries. Simply just restart Lightroom. Okay. Once you got Lightroom restarted, you can click on your profile browser. And you can see Vlog Cine 1 LUT is now created. Now, if you have some of your duplicates and you want to delete them, there's no way to click on these and actually delete them. You'll need to go into your app data folder, and you can see where the, uh, both of these are actually located at the moment. For me on Windows PC, this is under main disk, which is my C drive, users, Joe, app data, roaming, Adobe, camera raw, and settings. Then down here, you can find your vid color standard and uh, vlog sending one LUT. Now we can go ahead and click on LUT now, and then apply my LUT. Now what's different between the LUTs and these presets is the LUTs here, we can kind of control these individual. But if I go over here to like uh, other presets, these actually have global adjustment changes. For example, like VidNet here. If I click on medium VidNet, as you can see, it actually adds a vignette down here at the bottom. Whereas these color presets, like the profile I have here, actually, you know, don't actually have to go and do any kind of changes to your, you know, so there's a baseline for everything. So anyway, that's how to add LUTs to Lightroom. So anyway, that's it for this quick tutorial. Hope everybody enjoyed it. If you do, you found this tutorial helpful, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel yet, go ahead and take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you. and lets you know on at least more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.